how fast could you run a marathon if it wasn't just you? What if it was me doing 10K, Mikey doing 10K, Mary doing 10K, just over 10K, and then John? But let's first add in some jeopardy. What if all of this took place on a beautiful island in Thailand called Phuket, in an area called Laguna Phuket? And what if the runners had to be transported to various changeover spots? Would they all even make it? And what if we had to find bikes first to hire and then transport them to the changeover spot so that I could try and film this madness? So many working parts. But what if it all came together? What would happen? So this was it. The aim really was to have fun and celebrate the end of another school year in Thailand using the Laguna Phuket Marathon to run a relay marathon. The goal was simple. We each run 10 and a half kilometers as hard as we could and see what happens with regards to time and place. I was on first leg and then I would hand over this baton with the timing chip in it to Mikey. He's gonna hand it to Mary and then to John to bring it all home. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, we're on the fun bus making our way to um, checkpoint two. We've got the bike on board and Mary's up ahead in the next one. It's cool to see parts of the course. That will be a little photo stop. And yeah, just going up a little hill, so I'm kind of glad this bit isn't on my leg, but I think we're going to be there soon. So I'm with all the leg free runners, and I've got the bike for Mikey to pick up after he's handed the baton to me. What could possibly go wrong? Hello, who's this fine gentleman? To be honest, I think this was actually the hardest bit for me. Running in the dark, ahead of all the marathon runners, on my limit and pretty unable to talk. This is a weird experience. Got the camera bike now. <laughs> well, they're filming me, filming me. The good thing was that the commentator said I had good running technique, so I'm gonna take that. But essentially, I was kind of running in the unknown. I'm right out in front, but no idea how much haven't looked back at all should probably minor panic over they took us to the wrong changeover spot three to four so we're now in the right place checko checkpoint one to two um and just in time because i think benny will be here in not so long bit of light here so yeah we're at the checkpoint it is very dark and very deserted and I think Ben will just be handing over to Mikey now, so I've probably got 40 minutes. If I get my head in the game for a race, I'm very not feeling like I'm about to do a race, but... And it continued that way until the handover, really. I started way too fast, though. My first kilometre was a 3.30 and the first 5k, 18-something. So there was a drop-off, but I held it together enough for a first leg of 10.6 kilometres in 40 minutes and 17 seconds. Over to Mikey. I have to go over the map first, don't I? Okay. Oh, go, go. Start conservatively. Oh my god. Alright. I could barely film any of that. But now Mikey's out on the route, so I'm going to go and catch him once I've got the helmet on. Alright, this is my cool down. Going to catch Mikey. Yeah. That was right on the edge of all sorts of pain, so I'm just going to catch up with Mikey and tell him don't push too hard. So it's. Uh seven minutes to five i've just uh, got up and dressed and hoping that the taxi man's gonna be here and just see mikey in the distance now so we're just catching up to him and then i'll give you an update well done mikey just start conservatively is my only words of wisdom because that bit at the end just make sure you got something Just got word from one of the guys on the bus. So there's four teams, one from Japan, one from Malaysia, one from Thailand, and us from GBR. And they said, your team's fast because they've already handed over to the second guy. So Ben's leg must have gone as planned and Mikey's on his way to me now. So I better get warmed up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave Mikey well alone. I'm not gonna speak to him a lot. I mean, I know how much a 10K hurts. So I'm gonna hang back here every now and then, get up there, check in on him get some footage but the cameramen look are there filming them anyway so i think we had about a 30 second lead on the uh, on the lead marathoners so we'll see how we go we're going up quite a nasty 
the hill, but I don't want to say it out loud in front of Mikey. I don't want him to feel bad, but it's hurting me on the bike. So the situation is we've hit the half marathon start, the roads are closed, um, we have to wait potentially 15 minutes. Yeah. Half marathon runners have just gone through, so we should be, should be good to go any minute, hopefully. But time is ticking and uh, Mikey is running, so uh, let's hope he's not too fast, eh? So you probably know better than me, but John is uh, trying to get to his changeover. He's hit a roadblock so far, but hopefully all is well. He's got plenty of time, so um, yeah, we're not we're not too worried yet. Nearly over. Moved very far, I'm still 13 minutes away. Uh, we've only come about five minutes worth of distance um, and we're waiting again. Mikey's doing really well as well. He um, he went through, certainly, because I'm on the bike, I'm not really recording the running times every kilometer, but we went through a 5K in 1945, so we're, we're still sub 20 on the 5Ks, and he had the hills, so gotta be happy with that. Cycling to get to Mary, but this is weird. I don't know if I'm lost or whether it's just this is, so Mikey's only running on a very empty road. Oh no, yeah, here we go. 21K marker, so right up here will be Mary. Here he is. Where is the bike? Up ahead. Can I start my watch before? Yeah, just as he gives you the back. Go, go, go! Well done, well done, hey! Well done. Hey, look who I picked up. Good leg, Mikey. So now we're just uh, cycling up to get to Mary. How did it feel, Mikey? Good? Yeah, it's good. Managed to push all the way, which is all I wanted. Yeah. Uh, nice bit rolling and uh, but yeah, it's definitely warming up. Mary will have a sweaty one, I think. First off, let's give Mary some credit here because she's running on her limit, having just recovered from COVID last week and doing a solid job. Now, I think that's grit right there. So Mary's just reported in that she's got a stitch. So I just told her to slow down. Like, this is supposed to be for fun first and foremost. So, fun first. Well done. So the lead, this is the lead marathon of there, so we've got about two and a half K to go until we change over to John. Lead marathon are just about to catch Mary. So this should be quite interesting for John. Can he can he recatch the lead marathoner? I'm gonna say yeah. I say yeah. I say yeah, but it's something to chase. past six I'm just waiting for Mary to come in I made it to the uh, changeover point um, expecting her any second so um, need to be ready but yeah made it okay there's only two other teams I think three teams total so not a big field for the marathon relay but hopefully Mary will be here soon I'm just keen to get underway now it's a lot of faffing to get to this point Oh my goodness, that was way harder than I thought it was going to be. I had a 
ditch, I was really stressed, um, my heart rate was so high and I was really really panicking because it's a team and I didn't want to let anyone down. Um, but Ben was there on the bike, I said I've got a ditch and he was like, slow down until it's gone, don't worry. Um, so I managed to finish strong, I think my last two kilometres were my fastest but my average pace was 4.24 so way off what I was hoping to be but as a team we're in the lead there's one marathon runner ahead of us so he overtook me um, I kind of want the guy to win because he's doing the whole thing solo but I'm sure John will try and do what he can to grab the top spot okay I got some cycling to do to catch up with John and Mikey now but Mary's fine she feels like she's let us down and she absolutely hasn't so um, I think we're gonna win this I think John's got that in the bag so Let's catch up. Okay, we're now rolling with Witten. Just taking the baton from Mary. It's going to be interesting. He's got about a minute to make up on the overall leader. Um, we joined up with the half marathon course, so it's quite busy. But John is in full flow. 10.5k to go. Mikey out. Just about to witness the overtake. So John's just overtaken the uh, the lead actual marathon runner, which is, I mean, to be running that type of pace in these type of conditions is ridiculous, and we're running 10Ks. So John's just gone ahead now. Okay, I'm going to relax now, and I feel like I can enjoy it. We're well past the boys, and we're moving with speed. So I've got a nice breeze, really cool. There's an amazing atmosphere on the course. The last three kilometers of the course now, so yeah, there's everybody's kind of like feeling it but they know they're gonna get there. So John's running nicely. We're probably he's probably about, I think he's got about a 30 second lead on the lead marathoner. So uh, we should start to pull away a little bit in the last five, six k. Usually, yeah, or maybe not 30 seconds, maybe 20 seconds, but we should pull away a little bit. I think it's going to be a tough one. Less than 2k to go now, so we're just on the final straight, really. J-Dub's bringing it home. We're, we're having a lovely time. He's thinking, I wish I was in a 100 kilometer ultra right now. That's what he is thinking, probably. Absolute madman. See you at the finish line. Bring it home, J-Dub's. We'll celebrate with you at the finish line. Okay, we're getting to the finish line so that we can celebrate with John all together. I can see a bike, so I think that's Ben or Mikey. Benny. So we won, we're just waiting for the award ceremony now, uh, apparently 8am but it's a Thai 8am, it's 7.36 now. Whoa. I did not, it was, I didn't know it was going to turn into this. <laughs> and that? is basically a wrap on race season two and as we collected our awards and reflected on the end of our second year in thailand it made us think about what it's all about we've made friends for life that love the same things that we do we've spurred each other on to reach new heights in our running and improved as people along the way 
Lawrence. Lawrence was here running. We've had so many highs and just a few necessary lows to balance it out. But we know that really, this journey is only just beginning. Year three of our Thailand life is ahead, but first, a three week stint in the UK, so maybe we'll see you out there. And we really need to thank Raymond and the guys at GAA Events for being so amazing and helping us make this happen. And we've also got to thank Julia and Jane at the team at Laguna Phuket for sorting out so much of the logistical stuff for us and providing loads of the footage that you've just watched. And we'll definitely be back in November to race the Laguna Phuket triangle so if you're into your sport or your training or you're relaxing then Laguna Phuket has got to be checked out if you're over in Thailand for sure. And obviously we've just got to thank you legends for watching to this point and being part of this awesome community that we're building and we absolutely love. Running is about so much more than being fitter. It's a way of life and we want to share that with you and help you be your best selves. So if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel so that we can help you more and reach others that we can help too. What I do know is that we've got some huge races coming in year three, including the New York Marathon, hopefully Boston, UTMB and so many more. So join us on the journey and check out this video here if you want the hard troops of running. And I'll see you next Sunday.